There's a sheer drop. You can't even see it. On the left-hand side, there's a sheer drop. We kind of took a road that hasn't been used in about 40 years since the mine shut. This looks dodgy over here. It looks like a dip. Stay off on your side. Uh, <laughs> Our oxygen level down here is a lot lower, it's a considerable amount lower actually than what it is outside. I just decided And the rest of us have to swim, but at least all our luggage and stuff will be. I don't know if we've got any other choice in the moment. PM. We are going back to the car. We know the entrance to the real mine. The mine was meant to be in with the bridge of death, but we need to see how far away the walk it is from the car park because we can't do this. We can't do the same walk we've just done. It's nearly half past one in the morning now. We originally set off on this adventure from my house at 4 p.m. We arrived here for just before 8 p.m. So it's been quite a long trip already. I'm not sure if I could make it tonight. We're gonna have a look and see. If not, we'll have to come back and do it for the part two. So right now we, uh, there's a sheer drop. You can't even see it on the left hand side. There's a sheer drop, but we kind of took a road that hasn't been used in about 40 years since the mine shut. Now this this road takes us straight to the mine, but it is so bad, I, I think we're gonna fall over the side. So I've gotta film just in case we do crash. Well, let's go boys, we're in lift mode. Yeah, I take back what I said about that other road being the worst road in England. I think we've just found a, a winner. Feel the and we're literally driving on a mountain. Oh, sorry, we're literally driving up a mountain. On the side of a mountain. <laughs> the side of a mountain. The car is actually sideways. I know my camera, you're probably looking, it looks straight. We are sideways right now. Oh, oh wait, supposed to, this looks dodgy over here. It looks like a dip. Stay over your side. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look too bad. He's dipping that way anyway, so it's not too bad. <laughs> so it's not dipping towards the... No, we can always it walk is it. just a sheer, a, a sheer drop, but you obviously... See if you can use this torch. It's just... Let's see, hold on. It is just a drop off the edge. Right. See, it, is, it, just, it, it goes, you, even the light doesn't touch the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, no, well, that's that same kind of mark, isn't maybe it? it's a hole in the ground. Maybe it's from the mine. No, it's where they put hay bales for the animals, yeah. Right, well, nothing's grown up here in years. No, tractor will uh, tractor be too wide. But, well, I don't know, it might be too wide to come up here with a tractor. Really. But saying that, if they're putting air bales in there, they've got to, oh, they might bring a quad bike up. They might bring a quad bike up with the air bales on it. I don't think anything's been on here. There's no real tracks. Well, there's no way of turning around anyway. Yeah, I was just thinking that, what if we get to a point, how are we supposed to turn the car around? We can't. You're going to have to go down this in reverse? Yeah. What is up fighters? Right now we have arrived finally. It was such a trek getting up here. It was uh, like sheer drops and cliffs. It was uh, it's pretty scary. So drop a like on this video. We are risking the car's life and our own. But we finally, we think we made it. This is part two. I've dropped this today because I didn't want to make people wait. We are going 
into the mine. Right, is this the one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, exactly as the internet described it. This was a lot easier to get to than the other one. Yeah, well, I, the car didn't like getting here, but... Well, we walked for a good hour to get to the other one. That's true. You going in, boys, yeah? Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. Get this over with. Well, this one seems bigger. You can see the old door there. Yeah. But this one looks different inside. It looks a lot more oxidised, like a, an orangey colour. Have you got your sensor on? Uh, I've got it in my bag. I'll, I'll, turn, I'll turn uh, the uh, oxygen in the 4 one monitor when we get deeper into the mine. So the last, in the last episode you yeah. saw, that mine we was in actually does connect to this one. Well, it did do at one point. It no longer does. So we wasn't too far away, really. But we literally had to drive around to the other side of the mountain. It took us 36 minutes to drive. Uh, it was only literally like nine miles because it was all crazy country lanes. Tiny little lanes, in fact. I mean, you can see the old traps on the floor. Oh, look at that. There's an old spade handle. Huh. There's an old spade handle. Oh, so back to wet feet it is, isn't it? Wet cold to the right Oh, yeah, there's a big shaft. Pretty, pretty high. Oh well, it's uh, it's three o'clock in the morning, and we're still getting cold feet. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I can. Oh, don't know why. Um, I'm avoiding the coldness so far. Like a ninja. Like a ninja. Oh, I didn't even get wet feet, boys. Should have ninja it like me. Looks quite shiny. Yeah, it does. It's cold though. This one's this one's actually colder than the other mine. Yeah, it's just water, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that That old light. Yeah, the banging is just literally water on this tin roof here. It's falling to bits. It's covering an old shaft. There's only one thing that creeps me out about these mines is 
like anything could be living down here, you never know. Like the imagination really can run wild. Tell you what, it's cold down here. I like this shaft, it's a lot drier. Yeah, but it's cold. It's such a cold breeze coming down here. What's that cold? What the hell is that? I don't know, what is that? Sandstorms. Butter wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It opened up all right. No, it's strangely wide. Yeah, it could have been a pickaxe job. Is that a long lift shaft? Yeah. Well, it's a switchboard for... Yeah, what's the switchboard? I don't know. Right, well that's a dead end there. That doesn't look like it goes anywhere. <laughs> you can if you want. It goes right down as well. well I think they do cave dive in here because look, there's a wire that goes there. So it's yeah. all spin down there. What the hell's all this? This is unbelievable. Bro, get your uh, big, big torch out. Let's flood this light. This is amazing. Oh, did you hear the echo? Oh, look how clear the water is. There's a rubber dinghy over there. Oh, I used to get across the outside. That's where the ropes fall. You pull yourself across. That's climbing rope. Fine. Whoa, what's that? There's like a little toy duck in there. <laughs> yeah, flamingo. Pink flamingo. Yeah. flamingo in the water. So this can't be the... This is not the rope bridge. This isn't. This isn't the bridge of death. This isn't the bridge of death. This is... No, I think you've got to get across. I don't know. Is this the only way? Right, well, we're going to have to take turns and going across in the dinghy. Let's have a look first. Yeah, let's have a look first before we... I mean, what the hell's with all these fake spider webs? Oh, look. Fake spider webs? Where? Yeah, on the walls. Halloween decorations. Yeah. It's like someone's had a Halloween party down here. We just found a, a, a big rock. It's like it's made to look like a machete or a knife. Oh, it's been carved. Yeah. But we're gonna do a little bit of a depth test. See, uh, see how deep. I've thrown a glow stick over there just as a marker to know that we're about halfway when we're on the boat. Well, yeah, but this one's gonna go to the bottom. Throw the glow stick in and just see how far it goes. Wow. Whoa. Oh, it's gone. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there. there. Just, just, no, it's, no, it's still going. going. It's still going. It's going underneath. Whoa. Has it gone underneath? Yo. Yeah, it just, it just, it just went. went. It went. Wow. Look. It's here. No, no, it's gone. It's, it's underneath as well. It's gone. Bro, it's gone. There's, wow. there, there's no end to this water. That's some depth. This is straight up bottomless pit. Bro, oh, wow. that, I've not seen that before. It went fast or not? Yeah. <laughs> that went quick because of the rocks, and that's going some depth for that. Whoa. Are you sure you want to go across there and I'm thinking now? That's going some depth for that. <laughs> wow. Alright, boys, let's do it. Get the dinghy out. Get the dinghy out, Andrew. Are you taking okay. a photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Bucky, you've been, you've been out of action for a long time, so. I mean, for me, this is just another day in the it was office. It's scary now. going in cocky, but I had someone in the boat with me. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. In the boat with me. That's well, true. You had someone in the boat with you. Yeah, yeah they, they resurrected. They resurrected a, a big, a big like a inflatable boat. Wow. Me and Dave. Blew it up. It started going down as you. It started going down as you went there, and it started going flat as you come back. Yeah. Can you guys show your torches out there for a sec? So you've seen me use this monitor on a, a couple of episodes ago. I thought I'd whip it out quickly and check to make sure there's nothing dangerous going on. But what I have noticed is our oxygen level down here is a lot lower. It's a considerable amount lower, actually, than what it is outside. Outside, it was 23.4% oxygen. Down here, 199 We're only 0.9% away from it 
uh, giving us a reading of low oxygen so we've got to really watch out down here there's obviously no no real air coming down here so yeah that's something to watch out for I'll keep that on I'll keep it in my backpack if it goes off we've got to worry Watch that pole behind you. Yeah, it looks like it's my turn to go. Next obstacle, I've got across the water. But look at this. I mean, we could try and walk across this, but this is the bridge of death. This is the, I'm pretty sure this is the bridge of death. I mean, we could walk across it, but the only thing is, is that, is that rusty? It's so st my foxing up. Yes. I don't know, guys, leave a comment right now. What would you do? Would you walk across this and try and balance and hope you don't fall or take the ball? Leave a comment now because I don't know what to do. I don't know if them cables over there, like the, the iron, um, the iron the iron chains hanging from the ceiling I don't know if that's actually suspending this because if it is I definitely don't want to walk across it I'll let the other ones help decide as well but leave a comment below what do you think come on bro you good you got this Andrew bro it's you're gonna want to come across everyone's gonna want to see this what yeah it's true this is it's so cold down here, guys. You have no idea. Look at my breath. It's ridiculous. Shh. Don't don't tell Andrew that. <laughs> don't tell Andrew that until you're across. <laughs> you got this, bro. Come on. Oh, quite a while. At least five minutes. And plus, don't forget, Andrew. If it, if what, Andrew, 
Andrew, if it pops, don't forget, it's not going to sink because there's two other parts that are separately deflated, inflated, so you're not going to sink. I love how I love how Andrew has all these ideas, but as soon as it comes to it, he's the one questioning it all. Andrew is a bit tripping over the boat right now, guys. But, uh, we are trying to get him to come across. Just watch you don't pop the boat. Or we'll get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and no one knows we're here. Is there any more No. Turn the boat slightly. Take the rope so we can pull you if we need to. Uh, yeah. Oh God, what we <laughs> now this is what we've got to walk across. We've made it to the bridge of death. This is the bridge of death. How are you feeling right now? We've got to walk Andrew? across this though. How the fuck are we going to walk across that? You just got to walk across it and don't fall in. Look at how it's all your idea, and then as soon as it comes to it, it's terrifying. You're the other one questioning it all, like, "Oh, we're stupid." <coughs> uh, Bucky is the last one across. He's coming across on his own. Yeah, yeah, we really do, because otherwise, otherwise we we've literally had it. We've got to swim across. You know what I did? Or I've not already done it. Put your feet in first. And slide in on your butt. We're we'll about to get your used hands to the water first time around. We're we'll about to bathe in it there for a bit <laughs> <laughs> to get used to it. See, the problem is he has to bring it over this way now, or else none of us are getting back. No, I will swim. I'll swim. If I've got to. I just, you know what it is? It's not the water that bothers me. It's, it's like the, just the idea of the co there could be some kind of creature at the bottom of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're in just this little crappy rubber dinghy and there's just like jaws of death beneath you. Or we could run out of it. Well, that as well, yeah, I suppose. Well, it's too late. We're here now. You what? Keep hold of the rope, okay? This is why I told you. Worst case scenario is you just got to paddle if you just float off. This is why I told you not to pull it back so we can have a rope on wrap, our side. Wrap that rope that you've got, wrap it round this one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea actually. <laughs> wrap the rope around that rope. So See? that way you don't lose this rope. See, I'm not just beauty, but he's got the brains. No, no, just put it round like a, like your, um, you know when he, uh, the action movies when people put something around the pole uh, like a wire and they slide down it. It's kind of yeah, like that. You're gonna have to bring the rope with you. Anyway. Like a zip line. Don't float off. But the weight of the the weight of the um, rope around that shouldn't let it float off. This isn't a big deal. It's exploring the bucket. Technically, right? Pretty fast. Watch this other one, bro. Yeah, perfect, perfect landing. Grab his camera, don't let him fall into the ocean depths. Now, uh, you guys, you know how to pull the correctly. Where's that rope? Sure. You got it. Pull it. 
all safely across, boys. Right, challenge, Ready? challenge number two. Yeah, but you haven't seen what's over here yet, Bucky. I know not. Wait, oh, what's your finger on? What? Your detector just went off. No, it didn't. It did. You guys didn't hear that. Check it. It just went off. I swear to you, it just went it, off. If it went off, the alarm would be going off. It said something. <laughs> it might be a battery. No, I'll just charge it up. No, it's not gone off. In fact, we've got a slight bit more oxygen. We've got 20.2%. Oh, that's nice. So. Alright, we've got the rope back. Leave a comment below, tell Andrew to come. He doesn't want to come across, but bro, you've got to do it. You've come this far. We haven't even decided if we can get across. Oh, yet. we can. Don't worry. We can do it. You gotta sit in it more, get in it more. I'm pulling, I'll pull it while you go back. Yeah, you right there. Oh my god, rubbing against that rust is such a bad idea. Look at all that deep Shine a light on the box with no light. Here, uh, Buggy, you have a hand, Brick. You can take this first side. It's probably going out of crap at the end. See, that looks a lot easier than the last one. Not as far either. No. Not near as far. No, it's not. You've just got to take your time there, getting in the boat. Yeah. How the hell is going to get out of the boat? Well, it's easy because he'll just pull us out. It's Dan, Danny, it's, it's, it's the hardest for Danny because he's got to get out of his own. That bridge is creaking. The bridge is creaking? Yeah. Why, oh, how do you know? Because I can hear it. Look, oh, look at it, look at it swaying underneath there. No, it's the water making it No, swaying. no, 100%. Look at all the rust falling off it. Hey, Danny, do yeah, that off before that. No, 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 over there. It's all, it was all the, them bottom bits of swaying. You can still do a, do a swaying. Danny, if you want to take a look ahead one more time, yeah. and see what's over there. It's even worth risking our lives to do this. <laughs> No, we can't call it, boys. I'll just paddle across. Oh, you got a rope pulled, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Come on, this is an adventure. This is the real life <laughs> Goonies, bro. Andrew, you signed up for this. Well, you signed us all up for this. You made me drive up that crazy ass country lane for mm -hmm. 40 minutes or whatever it was. Now, yeah, boys, looks like it's my turn. Oh, is he? Right, I'm gonna sit my camera. Actually, Over to Danny Quick. He's put a hole in the boat. Put a hole in the boat. I didn't. Why is everyone blaming me? Because you let it in. He put a hole in it. <laughs> right, so Danny's, we're going to have to. Do you have that tape? Right, so then. Uh, let me see what I've got in my bag. I don't have any tape. Who has the tape? I've no tape. No. Is this a joke? Where's the slit?
Oh, that's only bit that stuck. No, because that's two separate seats, didn't it? I know. Yes, but they're both gone down. How is that possible? Let's see. Yeah. It's that. So basically, we're going to have to blow it up after each use and brush it over. <laughs> no, it won't make it. It just went flat in getting in and out of it. We're, we're going to have to try. Side. We're going to have to try. Because <laughs> back. How are we going to get Danny back? <laughs> we'll figure some out. You should have brought the box here because the box has got patches in it. Where's the box? Oh, in it's the in the car. car. And that has patches in it. We have nothing. Worry, Bro, there's got to be something in all our bags that we can use. I've got nothing in my bag. Danny, have you got anything? <laughs> I think you've got to it. <laughs> I reckon it'll still float. I think it'll, ha it'll have to float long enough to get well, us back. We'll have to blow it up we'll and get in. And let's, try and, let's try and pump part two up. It might just come down from all the... Oh, I've seen the slit. It's huge. Where is the slit? There. Uh, but the rest... I know it might not have blown up as much because of the outside being blown up first. Yeah. So, no, that, that's a good thing. I think it's still usable. We'd have to be... we have to be quick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but then again... Oh, oh wait. The if you if you can keep your just the outside now. Right, if you can keep your finger. Oh no, it is, it's coming out of there. Can't be. It is. Oh. It is. Wait, stop rubbing it on the ground, first off, because. Yeah, I know. Oh, dude, oh, what are you doing? Going for it. Whoa, what are you doing, bro? He's gonna just try and walk it. No. Oh, bro. Be careful. Dude, you have to be so careful doing this. Put your lights, you can see. Oh my god. Danny, if you make this, you're a savage. Danny walking the fridge. Wait. Okay. Where's the rope, just in case, so he can grab on and pull it. Just don't it. bang on the on, on that because it will the suspenders will break on it. Maybe this is why I'm Yeah. I'm getting a rope. Uh, Bucky, we can put... This is in case. Bucky, if he falls in, we can throw him a rope. Oh, I'm down in. Look at the state of all that falling off underneath. I'm so careful with halfway through, bro. I don't think it'll go up. I don't know, bro, it's been submersed in water for I don't know how yeah, long. Yeah, the top's not that, that bad. Yeah, but it's the, it's it's the bottom. Right. Them, them suspenders there are keeping it afloat, I think. Just take it easy. Just take it away. You got this. You got this, you're almost there, bro. You only have a few more steps. You got this, nice thing. I can't believe the bolts popped on us, boys. I can't believe you just did. You basically just pulled this off. You're so close, boy. You got this. You got this. Oh. Did it. Yes. Okay. So that's now we've got to get back to the other that's side. That's one though. objective done. And now, we now we have to get the team. Now we have to get the other side. Yeah. Bro. Yes, mate. <laughs> Found it. That is unsaid. Look at all that rust. Whoa, look at that. How is this bit? Uh, it's this end that one more okay. rusty. I need a plan. Need a plan guys. You know what I noticed? When you blew it up, none of the air came out when you held your finger over the hole. Say that again. You blew it up. When you hold your finger over the hole, no air comes out. You do, right? We can swim. Now listen. Well, that's the only thing. Swimming. We get in the boat. Because no, no, listen to this. Because we could put all the bags in the boat. If someone swam across, get all the bags in the boat, get it across, and then the rest of us have to swim, but at least all our luggage and stuff will be. Yeah, but the thing is... Maybe we're going to freeze our tits off. Yeah. We're going to freeze and die, dude. That's... We I mean, can end up with going to shock or anything, but now that's going to be cold. <laughs> well, I don't know if we've got any other we choice at the moment. Over there. Find I know this is climbing rope, but it's a bit strange. No, that's the problem. It's old climbing rope. I don't want to trust the leaning all that way. It's not that. If you get in the water and use that, it's just going to pull down because it's stretching. You're, yeah, you're going to go under. The issue is broke. It, there's no choice. We're going to have to inflate the boat. Oh, Wait, it's taped, dude. What the hell? It's taped. Oh, it's not sticky. Have you not got Gorilla Glue in it's, the it's, bag? Please say you have No, because I used it's in the car, I think, because oh. I used it on the reg plate. You must have some. Oh, I have That's got... the punch of a perk it, Is it? Yeah. That's the punch of a And I've got Gorilla Glue. You have Gorilla Glue and we found it. Wait, wait. We've got the punch of And I've got spare uh, Dragon Ball Z boxes. Oh. <laughs> you can swim back then, bro. <laughs> Gorilla Girl and the punch of And I've got spare socks. So that, and people think I'm not equipped. Did I really not record him coming back?
Uh, well, I didn't know that was a punch or a per kit. <laughs> and I knew they threw that, I thought it was just a piece of rubbish. Right. No. We've all just been discussing how to get back. You've got to wait 30 minutes, though. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. And we found the punch or a per kit. And what, so, what so we have to thank Dan, Dan for that. Without Dan, yeah. we'd not be getting back over Yeah, there. I had no idea I had it either. Dan it took that out of the box and put it in your bag. I don't know why, I don't even remember doing that. It's fake. Oh. Let's get fixing it then. Let's get fixing it. Right, so we fixed the puncher. Well, we, we think we have. Bucky, you've left my socks on there. <laughs> Keep them so they don't get wet anymore. So we're going to put it in the water, we're going to blow it up. We've got to see if it's actually going to survive. Our theory is we get one person across, and at least if there's one person across, we can send them outside uh, for, for, for help. Otherwise, we literally have to swim. If one person gets across, they can try and blow that blue one up and see if that's not punctured. Oh, that's true. I think they're slit. This is not funny no more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, in a situation like that. I mean, how do you feel, Andrew? I just want to go and be in bed and edit this video and survive the journey. Um, guaranteed, we'll get one person across at least. Yeah, I think so. I think we will. If they're really quick about it on that rope, Get themselves over out, and if it's okay, we'll do the next person, and we'll keep. You going. get in it, that end, and you get out of it, that end. Yeah, yeah. Because if you put pressure on that, you'll damage, it. you'll damage the patch. You'll put too much pressure on the patch. It'll blow it off. You know, boys, I warned you of this. You know, puncturing bolts and stuff. Andrew warned about it. You punctured it. I warned about it. That's why I suggested staying on the end. Completely <laughs> 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 signing. I know. Well, who put it on that slate? I was saying from the start that I thing. said and, uh, Andy got in it off the bridge. This is the moment of truth. All this we'll to find out if the patch works. Right. So uh, definitely stay in the plate. Let's have a look. Right, let's just get it in the water and go. Yeah. yeah let's just go before it's too late. All right. Right. Uh, Bucky's out first. Yeah, Bucky. If he goes down, get help. One set, one set. Okay, watch out, watch out. Watch out for what? On the side. Go on, blow. Got it. Oh. Oh. It's popped. Oh, go, you go, go. It's popped again. Oh, it's popped again. It's popped again. Go. Watch that rust. Yeah, keep going, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Right. I could hear the bubbles. I could hear the bubbles coming out of it. Bubbles, I can see it. It's walking like we're going to have to be rescued. Shoot, shoot. Oh, right. Yeah. We got the rope, we got the rope. Right. We might be able to get it across if you blow it. Or we'll send it back and then you blow it, but you're going to have to get it. Alright, pull it back and we'll blow it up. Go on, pull, pull. Let's put it here to set sail. Where did it pop from this time? It popped from somewhere different. Popped on that far side. Oh, that's where it was originally then. Is it from the flat? Where did it pop from? No, it, there's a hole. It's just tiny. Sign will blow it up. Somebody blow it up. I'll get in so, and we'll go. It's this one here. Is it going to last one, Dan? I don't know. <laughs> get me and Dan rescued. Make sure you have the wrong fucking. You're going to have to help me out.
Yo, bro, don't pop it even more. Bro, bro, you probably popped it. I don't know how many times now. <laughs> right, come on, let's. Uh, wait a minute. We didn't hold the rope. No. No, because we were panicking because you were going so fast. Put my camera in as well. Are you ready? Right. What? Yeah, well, can I come a bit further? No. Just... Well, how did we get it get it on before? Why? Alright, I got... Where am we calling, though? You know, I, I put it in the right spot. Right. All right. It's recording. Your but your screen is broken for good, bro. No way of getting area number one. Now, so it's Dan's turn, and we're, we have an end of the rope. We're going to try and pull him across. Right, coming, bro. Try and stay still so you don't move and get any water in it. Right, are you ready to push off that bar? Holy crap. Oh, shit. What was that? Rope, that was just the rope. Do you what? The rope, oh, oh my. Wait, snap. can you grab the rest of the rope? Is there any rope over there, bro? No, I don't. Oh, it's sinking. I need to get out. Okay, come on, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Careful. Try to push off of that. It's not going to do the number two. I'll tell you how. Hold on. You're not sinking. You're going slowly. It's all right. It's nice. Don't move it. Yeah, it's doing alright. Just don't, don't want to pop them to do now. Alright, we got Dan across, now we got to sort out Dan. Straight up. Now we're just pushing the wall. 
Now there's no rope to get him back. Oh yeah, we've got to do that again. Don't swim it. No, that's a terrible idea. Do not. We'll get help before anything else, but let's let's try and get you across. Alright. Shine that light down. I can't see nothing. No, down. Down at the water. You're blinding me. Now, if you can get across, grab it quickly. It's only going fucking wall. Yeah, I know. I didn't work then. Too much in water. Oh, that's a little high to tell you. Oh, right. Break don't, don't move that. Try and wrap the rope around that, yeah. Good idea. Some Indiana Jones stuff going on here. Right, so if you can wrap the rope, you can pull the rope over to your end. Uh, Hold on. Can you move? If it's walking towards you, that's it. But I just want to get this over the rope. And then pull it towards us. No, he's got to pull this towards him. Alright, go on then. And then he can tie the rope up. Well, yeah. how do we get I'll, the, I'll wait, wait, how do we get the rope on? You can just pull it down the middle. There, slowly pull it, slowly. It might have it. it might have looked over it. Yeah, he's moving. Slowly, Danny. Uh, really slow, it's coming to you. I can see it. Yeah, that's coming to me, but where's the other one? That's what I'm saying, slowly pull it. It's coming, it looks like it, it looks like it was coming okay. to you then. Alright, let's try it. Keep your rope there anyway. What? Well, oh, you ain't gonna be able to hold mine, mine sank. <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy rope. You need to chuck that back in again. Try your best because you can't lose you can't lose the rest. You what? Right, Dan, uh, we gotta save these torches, only use them one at a time. Uh, That's what I mean. Dan Dan got this on just turning okay. it off now. Okay. Right, that's not terrible. Hold that all it's terrible. Go ahead, just hold that. Holy shit, it's on. Is it on? Can you pull it pull it towards you? Pull the boat slowly towards you if it's on there. I don't think it's on. Do you see it on there? No. no. You, need, you need a weight on the MDOs now, don't no, you? No, I can't. The boat goes far. It's good enough. No. Because it'll kind of look on itself. I'm going to throw the rope in and try to try and weight the rope. I'm going to pull a bit more in my hand and see if that'll do it. Make it to that first post. And just keep paddling anyway. Yeah, you'll need to make it to the first post, right? And if you can throw it. You can try and catch it. I mean, it's definitely better than swimming. The orange boat over to him. So we got to knock the boat. Yeah, we're going to get rocks. We're going to knock it over. Right, uh, let's get a collection of rocks before we just send it. So we're no, not no, no, send it. Send it. I'd push it down the middle, Bucky. No, because if it pumps off that way, I'd rather push it that way so we can chuck yeah. it over there. Right, okay. It'll go that way then, won't it? Right. Rocks. Let's, let's start throwing rocks. 
Somebody with the light stay in here with them. Someone will get you that line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Do not do an Andrew. Don't get in yet. You don't have the ball ready. It's alright. He's already in. I need the end of the road. Danny, he's on his way. Don't. Just take it slow. It won't go down that middle bit. There you go. And if you get to, if you get to that bar, you just have to push yourself a bit forward. He's about to try and throw the rope to you. You're doing really well, dude. Oh, the whole thing's shaking. Oh. All that wooden bit. Alright, we've broken the rope from here. Yeah, yeah. Danny, hold on, yeah. Don't be wrong. I don't think we're fucking easy. Well, he's here now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was what you guided him into this. Quick middle. The ordeal is over. The ordeal is over. We can. It's going down. No, it's right. The middle's fine. Just pull the ball in. Everyone just grab the ball and pull it in. Rescue mission! <laughs> Rescue mission! Hold on, I got complete. Watch out! Rescue That's mission complete, boys. That's funny. You didn't leave out over there, did you? Look, it's just gone down a lot. Yeah, because we've just told me I just rigged it straight out. I think we just oh, tore yeah. the entire center pulling you up. <sighs> Bro, okay, I couldn't film any of that. But he just paddled his way across on the boat, and we just. Mate, look at that. Yeah, let's get the, let's get out of here, please. Yeah. yeah. I'm so scared of falling in that wall. I agree. Let's just go. You did so good. Let's torch. Let's get out of here, boys. Um, yeah, nearly 7 a.m. But you can see at the bottom there, it's light. Well, that's the entrance we just came out of. It's daylight. This is what we came out to. I don't remember this because it was so dark. McDonald's breakfast sounds highly appetizing right there. I can't even hold this camera properly. I'm not even gonna lie. McDonald's sounds absolutely amazing right now. McDonald's breakfast. We just got out, I've been in there six hours or so. Came out to this. Well, back into the trusty Audi and now we've got this unreal trip to make down the side of a cliff so guys I'm just gonna say this you know like the video if, like the video if you enjoyed it like the video if you didn't because <laughs> that was unreal um, like the video for if you wanted to see Dan in peril yeah like, like 
like the like the video if you s enjoyed seeing Andrew Panic in the boat. Uh, like the video if uh, you want to see more like this. Like the video if you don't want to see more like this. Just like the video. Uh, leave me a comment as well. What do you? What part of that would scare you? Would it be the fact that you're underground for so long? Would it be the fact that you're stranded? Uh, that you might have to swim through minus temperature waters? I don't know. But, as always guys, we survived. We live another day. We'll never stop going. No mine, no cave, no underground. Nothing will stop us. We are the elite. And we're going to keep going. Because we've got Japan to do. Then we get back from Japan, we've got Germany to do. Then after that, we have the world to finish off conquering. So, yeah, until next video. So, this is what we're dealing with right now. It's foggy out here, guys, but. This is a cliff, this is what we drove up in the pitch black. Sheer drops next to us. And a lot of angry sheep. <laughs>